What's going on people, we are Tottenham TV, back here for some more content for you guys. Yes, I know guys, still not in the studio, but we will be back pretty soon. Uh, today we're going to be going through the FIFA, the, well I say FIFA, it's called FC25 yeah, right, now. Get don't want to get sued. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know, I haven't played it probably since uh, they have changed the name. But um, we're going to be going through the Spurs ratings, seeing how bad, how good they are. Usually they are terrible, so <laughs> uh, I'm looking forward to getting into these ones. We'll, we'll start off with the bottom up. I've been looking, trying to look at the ratings. I've found no rating at all for Lucas Bergwijn. I don't know if he's in the game or they've just forgotten about him. But um, I'm sure I don't he's know. in the game. But yeah. I don't know. I mean, it looks like they've got ratings for like players like Tyrese Hall, Jamie Donnelly, but no Lucas Bergwijn. Just a bit strange. But um, on this list that we've got here, we're going to start off with Archie Gray. He's been given a silver card, 73. He is a CDM in the game, 75 pace. 80 shooting, 70 passing, 74 dribbling, 70 defending and 72 physicality. And, you know, with a young player coming up from the championship, I didn't expect too much better. Yeah, it's, uh, of course, he's only had one season. He's still very young as well. So they weren't ever going to rate him highly. I think definitely next season he'll be a much better rated card, I'm, I'm assuming, when he starts playing regularly in the Premier League. But I'm just looking at some of, that stat, from the, some of those stats. I think uh, defending can be a bit better than 70, I think. Dribbling, that's pretty good. I think 74 for a player of his age, and that's, that's pretty solid. So, yeah, I don't think you can have too many complaints. Valise got a 75 card, the same number as Radu Dragusin. I think that is a real mm. massive disrespect to Dragusin here. 75 rated, the same as Valise. Yeah, I mean, Valise is a young player. I mean, I guess they're both fairly young, but Dragusin obviously doing a lot better for Genoa. But then again, um, he only really played for like um, six, or was it about maybe six months or a year for Genoa yeah, before getting snapped are, up? I know like they might be a similar age, like there is a, a couple of years between them, but they are at different moments in their career right now. Dragusin just had a starring role at the Euros, he was brilliant, and uh, he was starting week in, week out for the Serie A side, but Lise hasn't done anywhere close to that. No, but he was playing regularly in Argentina. Yeah, uh, exactly. And he scored 12 league goals. Yeah. So, uh, as, a, you know, as a young player, like, I, d I mean... It's probably unfair. It's probably a bit unfair on Dragushin. He'd probably be a bit higher, like seventy-seven or something like that. But um, you know, really, I think I think the career, the moment at the time, yes, uh, Dragushin played for the Euros uh, for for Romania. But um, I guess it's a bit unfair. But it's not like they. But they are both young players who have not played loads of football in their career just yet. I think it's massively unfair, man. I really do, um, especially as. Dragushin, every time you see him step on the pitch, you're like, wow, this guy's a proper good defender. And he has been playing a starring role in Genoa's team in Serie A, where Valise has come to Europe, hasn't been able to get any minutes. Mm. So uh, I think they've done Dragushin dirty here with 73 pace, 37 shooting, 53 passing, 65 dribbling, 75 defending, and 75 physicality. First of all, the physicality yeah, needs, to be, come on. Me, needs to be up here, and the defending needs to be up as well. At least 80 physicality and defending, I would definitely say, um, he's, when it comes to like blocks and clearances, he's one of the best. So like, uh, also should be at least 80. And they've given Ben Davis actually higher than Radu Dragus. And I know Ben Davis has had a longer career, and they're both at the other, you know, different ends of the spectrum in terms of the career, but... If, if Mickey van der Ven gets injured, it's not like you want Ben Davis to step in, do you? You hmm. want Radu Dragusin to step in. Yeah, I don't know why he's, uh, why he's higher. Um, uh, look, they put him as a centre-back, though, which is obviously a big change. I'm trying to look. Pace, that probably makes sense, 58. Uh, defending, 77, that's good. Physicality, only three worse than uh, Dragusin. I think there's a bigger difference in physicality, in my opinion. Much different. Um, well said, Drib uh, dribbling, 72, OK. So, I mean, I think, obviously, Dragusin's a much better centre-back, in my opinion. Yeah, hundred percent. I don't think there's any complaint. Uh, there's any question about that. Last year, Davis was seventy-seven, and gone this year one. he's seventy-six. Mm. Um, so, I mean, it's fair that he's gone down. But I think I just think I don't have a problem with Davis's rating here. It's just Dragushin. I think they've just done him a bit dirty. Mm, he should be a bit higher. Seventy-seven. He should be. I reckon. Manuel Solomon. They've given him seventy-six, and in terms of last year, Manuel Solomon was seventy-seven. Gone down one. He's gone down one, uh, which is a bit unfortunate for him because it is mainly down to injury why he didn't play. Yeah. So you can probably say um, it's unfair, but uh, look, I, he, he's been injured. Um, what are the ratings gone? Have his individual ratings? So he's gone from 82, pe 83 lost, pace to one. 83 pace, 83 pace to 82. 
Uh, 72 dribbling. shooting to 72 shooting, one down, one 75 dribbling. passing to 73 passing, 81 dribbling to 80 dribbling, uh, 43 defending, 43 defending, 42, well, he's gone down a lot in physicality, 58 to 42. Wow, that's, ma that's massive. <laughs> that's a massive Just drop. on the treatment table. Yeah. <laughs> uh, needs, um, needs to get back to the gym. Well, but look, yeah, whatever, I mean, it is what it is. Dom Solanke, 81. Uh, 74 pace, 81 shooting, 66 passing, 78 dribblings, mm. 29 defending, and 83 physicality. I mean, that's a fairly good card. I was about to say, it's, it's quite, um, the, the, the stats are quite evenly spread in terms of how good they are. I think physicality can be a couple notches higher, shooting potentially as well. I think the other ones are pretty fair, to be honest. Um, I, but I reckon once he has a good season with Spurs, you can easily see that rating shoot up to like an 83, 84 very yeah. easily. Let's hope he has that good season. Uh, Regulon got given a 77. So Regulon is actually higher than Dragushin and Davis, which is mad. <laughs> yeah, it's bad. Well, is it that crazy he's higher than Davis? Well, seeing as like we've still got Davis in the squad all this time and Regulon, we don't even want to give a, a squad number. Oh, well, he's got a squad number. We don't even want to take him on tour. I know, but I guess it's... Just, I, I don't think it's because of the quality of the players. Just I think of we don't feel like he suits us whereas maybe Ben Davis he likes his experience he likes um, he's a bit of a leader he's been there for a long time um, I think Regulon's a good left back I, I think he's probably a better left back right now than Ben Davis in my opinion mm. centre back obviously is different kettle of fish but um, yeah I don't think it's that crazy he's, a, but he's two marks over Dragosheen yeah that's a bit unfortunate Dragosheen man poor guy look you Dragosheen's still got quite a bit to prove I know he had a great Euros but how long was he actually uh, starting for Genoa before we signed I think him? It was a season, but yes, I agree with you. He's got a lot. To, he's still got stuff to prove. One hundred percent. I don't doubt that. But to be rated lower than players like Regulon, Ben Davis, and Manuel Solomon, I think that it's, uh, it's a joke. Really, it's seventy-five. He's he's the lowest rated main player in the squad. He's rated the same as Alejo Valise. Yeah, he should be higher than Valise. He should be higher than Valise. He should be higher than Davis. He should be higher than Solomon, and he should be higher than Regulon. He should be higher than all of them. Mm. You could argue Solomon's done, you know, he was good at Shakhtar, he was good at Fulham. Mm -hmm. Like, he's done quite a bit. Anyway, don't want to get bogged down in that. Um, Brennan Johnson has been given 78. Last year, Brennan was... 77, was he? 76. 76. So he's gone up two ratings. Mm. Nice. Um, 89 pace, 74 shooting, 72 passing, 78 dribbling, 43 defending, and 59 physicality, which last year it was... 89 pace, 74 shooting, 67 passing, 78 dribbling, 41 defensive and 59 yeah, physicality. Is that all the same? What's, what's They're different? all very similar, yeah. Uh, passing's gone up. Oh, yeah, because his passing's gone up. I do think his uh, um, ability to like, you know, cross across the face to goal, which I didn't really think we saw much at Forest of that. So that has improved a lot. So his passing's good. I actually think he might be the fastest player in the squad. So I think... What, you think he's faster than Mickey? Um... Potentially. Ah, I can't. Ah, he's not faster than Mickey. Uh, well, he's definitely, I think, should be... Fa I think he's faster than Werner, in my opinion. So I think, I think he should be higher than Werner in terms of pace. Um, yeah, maybe not as fast as Mickey, but I think he should be at least 90. He actually is faster than Mickey on the game. On the game, he is. But we know Mickey got what the, what the record for the fastest yeah. sprint in Premier League history. Anyway, uh, he should be 90 pace, in my opinion, uh, at least Brennan. So yeah, I think he's been... Uh, Mark down one for pace. 78 after you know 15 goal contributions last season. Mm. Uh, I think it's fair enough, but still want to see more from Brennan, that's for sure. Uh, new moving on, pa Pape Matasar, 79. He must mm. have gone up from last year. Definitely. Uh, pa yeah, he was 72 silver card last year. That. Straight away into 79, I think, mm. um, is only right for Pape. He's had a great season last year. 70 pace, 65 shooting, 75 passing, 78 dribbling, 76 defensive, <clears> 75 <throat> physical. Um, and it's everything. He didn't get higher. The only one in the 70s last year was his uh, dribbling. Mm. Everything else was in the 60s. So um, he's gone up everywhere in yeah. every facet. Good reward for a great season. And I think it's absolutely spot on. Um, obviously, I'd like him to be in the 80s overall rating. He'll be there soon. But uh, yeah, brilliant season. And there you go. I think that. that one that more shows season, him. he'll be there. Yeah, 82, 83, for sure. Timo Werner, 80. He's uh, the fastest man in the squad in 91 pace. Mm -hmm. 79 shooting, 69 passing, 80 dribbling, 80, uh, 35 defending and 69 physical. What do you make out of that? Um, I think, yeah, pace is probably right. 
Um, I would say shooting, maybe too high. I'm not sure. <laughs> Definitely too high. <laughs> um, dribbling. I don't know. I don't know if he's actually a good dribbler. If you know what I mean, like he's he's good. He, he's good at creating space, but is he good at beating people? I, um, On the I occasion, he is with that Sometimes. little shift and, and getting. He doesn't past actually beat them. As I say, he like creates space. He gets away from them, but he doesn't like you know t- go past people. If you know mm. what I mean. He just creates space, in, uh, which is I don't know. If, I guess that counts. It's as a dribbling. form of dribbling. It's a form of dribbling, I guess. Um, okay, I think it's pretty fair. Um, Eighty, I would say. I think Verna over Pape Matasar. Avana over Johnson. I mean, um, in terms of what they've done in their career, you'd have to say, yeah. Right From what I've seen at Spurs, Werner or Johnson, I would probably... The thing is with Werner, even when he has bad games, he, is still, he, he, he doesn't go missing either, um, like Johnson does, I feel. But, but even when Johnson has bad games, he can still pop up with a goal contribution. Mm. Uh, in front of guard, I'd definitely rather Brennan than Werner. Um, I'd say, yeah, I guess it's a bit unfair on Johnson. Maybe they should. Um, Werner probably should be notched down a couple of levels to him. Johnson. I there. reckon it should be both of them on seventy-eight or both mm. of them on seventy-nine. I think they're yeah, a very similar level yeah. player. But yeah, Werner's obviously done very well with, like Leipzig and stuff in his career, so I guess he's got that in the bank. Next up is Eve Bissouma. He's eighty. Well, a big drop um, off, I reckon, is is it? it a drop off? I think maybe just is a slight not? drop off. He oh, was he's 79, by one. Oh, 79 last I swear year. He was an 80, like 83 at one point. Maybe I'm misremembering. Pace 71, uh, which last year he was 72. So he's gone, he's Down. got a bit slower. 67 shooting, to yeah. 67 shooting, same. 75 passing, 74 passing. Gone up one. 81 dribbling to uh, 77 dribbling. Four. 78 defensive and 76 physicality, where last year it was 77, 76. So, a slightly better card for Eve Basuma, which is quite surprising to me because he's had is a great... It? Yeah, because he had a great 10 games of the season, but he's had a pretty poor season yeah, overall. Yeah, but you can remember how bad the season before that was. Yeah, that's true. So, for under... So, he's much... And I, also, I guess he did improve from the season before. Yeah, he did. And also, I think I, I think people um, maybe a bit... Like, we're very harsh on Basuma because he was so good the first 10 games and had a drop-off, but... I, I, I thought um, after he came back from the African Nations and was, um, uh, I think from like March, um, April time, like he actually was not bad for, the, for those last like uh, six, seven games. So Not bad, but not good. No, he was good. I thought it was quite good. Mm. I thought it was quite good in, uh, right, right at the end of the season. I thought it was starting to get some good form back. But um, it was nowhere near what we saw beginning of the season. Look, beginning of the season, he was exceptional. Um, obviously, we want to see that more regularly. Um, but I think... Yeah, I think actually the, the improvement shouldn't, isn't a surprise to me. More performances like last week and then uh, he'll start to get some credit in the bank again from me. Uh, Rodrigo Bentancor, he's rated 81 uh, this year. Last year Run he down. was rated 82, so okay. obviously a year on the sidelines pretty much. And well, then... he, no, because he played a lot last year. Towards the end? No, he played from, he came, uh, he came back against um, Palace, didn't he? And then how At long after the, the Palace, Palace game was the Villa game? Then the Villa game was like, uh, was, yeah, not far off. But then he missed like uh, two months. But then remember, he came back in January from mm. Villa. He came back really, really, like, really surprisingly early. Yeah. So he, he never, played quite a bit. He did play a bit, but it wasn't Ben Tankle that we know. It was Ben Tankle coming back from injury. Yeah, like. but they can't, they can't determine that. They can't say, oh, he was coming back from injury. Someone, so they can only go off what they see, I guess. Mm. And from that point of view, he probably has gone down one, unfortunately, from last season's performances. But... Hopefully we've, we're seeing uh, um, evidence of him getting back to his best. His pace has dropped down by three from 70 to 67. Shooting's gone from 67 to 68. Six. 68. No, 68. His shooting's gone up. Gone up. Uh, passing's gone from 81 to 80. Hmm. Dribbling's gone from 83 to 82. Defensive's gone from 79 to 79. And physicality's gone down one from 77 to 76. Hmm. So... Yeah, I don't think he can complain too much about that. It's been a horror season for him last year, pretty much. Mm. Uh, Richarlison, 81, where last year he was 80. He's gone up one. That's, well, that's a bit surprising. Is it, maybe. though? I guess he scored 11 not, goals last season. Yeah, I guess, from, I guess when you're comparing it to the season before where he got one goal. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not, it's not I think good. his season, his upgrade of a season is much more of an upgrade than, um, than Basuma's. Yeah, uh, is it? Yeah, 100%. Compare, compare, yeah, I mean, yeah, I guess. Richarlison actually did a really good job for us last season. Mm, you remember that he run? Played. He went on 11, 11 goals last season, got double digits. No well, they both went up once. That makes sense. I think Richarlison maybe 
should have gone up more uh, than a Basuma should have gone up, to be fair. Mm. But anyway, Richarlison, uh, 77 pace and 79 shooting. 77 oh, pace and 80 one. shooting. 73, so his passing's gone up by one. His dribbling is on 80 this year and 82 last year. Mm. It's actually gone down by two. And defensive and physical is 52-78 last year and 53-78 this year. Mm. So um, I, I quite like that Richarlison card, to mm. be fair. Decent. I uh, just needs a bit more pace. I mean, he's yeah, it probably is fair, but if he had a, lot, a bit more pace, he'd be a much better player. Destiny Udogi, 82 this year, 77 last there year. Now, now, that Nine. is an upgrade that he deserves. Mm. 88 so pace like this year, 88 pace last year. 65 shooting, 63 shooting, so he's gone up a couple in the shooting. 74 passing, 68 mm. passing. 80 last dribbling. Year. 80 dribbling, 77 dribbling, 78 defending, 70 wow. defending, Eight, and 80 impressive. physical and 77 physical. That that, be, that's a really good card. That physical should be a lot higher. It should be. What do you reckon? 83, 84? Yeah, 85. Yeah, he's, look, he's one of the most physical defenders, I think, in the league, to mm. be honest, with the way he's built. So... Um, I think an 85 wouldn't be crazy. Uh, but yeah, that's a brilliant. I think he's going to be uh, old, everyone's favourite left back in the ultimate team. Agreed. Kulisevsky from 82, from 81 to 82. Yeah. Uh, 75 pace, 77 shooting, 80 passing, 83 dribbling, 57 defending, and 80 physical. Um, Look, I think it's a fair card for Kulisevsky. I think last year he was probably underrated a little bit. Yeah, because he didn't have that great season under Conte, did he? Uh, the season before, so he probably went. Well, I think when he first came, I think his card like he sharped like an eighty-three, and he maybe eighty-four at one point, and then obviously he hasn't hit those heights. But yeah, I'm looking if there's any any of those are unfair. Um, so part, pay, pace has gone up by gone down by one. Dribbling has gone down by one. Shooting as well. has stayed the same. Passing has stayed the same. Physicality dribbling, has shot up from dribbling has gone down, defending has gone up, and physical has gone up. So, actually, it's every physical. stat has gone down apart from defending and physical. Physical shot up from 74 to 70 to 80. Yeah, so that's pretty impressive. Um, but it'll be interesting to see if they move him into a midfield role, into a camp. So they got uh, Kulosevsky's physicality higher than Richarlison. Mm. Yeah, that's interesting. Uh, anyway. Fair card, I think, for Kulisevsky. Mickey van der Ven, 82. I think he's underrated here. It's 88 pace. Probably. He should be higher. Last year, what was he? 78, I think, last year. Where is he here? There Mickey he is, 78. 85 pace last year. 88, 88. pace. But so he, sh he should be the highest in the squad. He should be above Timo. He should, he should be, be he 95 should be, or something. He should, I think like a 92, 93. I Something like that. Fair. His shooting is 47, which was 43 last year. And judging by that goal he scored towards <laughs> the back end of the season, yeah. it should be higher. 64 passing this year and 59 passing nice. last year. So his passing's got considerably better. 71 dribbling, 68 dribbling. I think his dribbling should be a bit higher, judging by the assists on, <laughs> on the weekend. Defending 82, defending 79 last year, and physicality is 81, gone up by one from 80 last year. Mm. I, I, I think he's been That's underrated here. That's a brilliant card, though. That's a really great card for centre-back. It is a good card, but don't you think he's been underrated? Pace should be a bit higher. Um, I think maybe physicality could be one, one notch higher. I think defending is pretty fair. Um, Passing's pretty fair. Maybe dribbling could be one higher. I think. I think apart from pace, yeah, that's the only one I think he should be really. I really think he should be higher at. Mm. Giovanni Celso has been given eighty, and oh, last no. year he was eighty-one, so he's gone down one, uh, which is. I mean, yeah, he didn't get on the pitch enough, but I think every time he played, he was pretty good mm, last pretty year. Quite unfortunate, I would say, to, to drop down one because I thought he had a pretty good year, uh, season in terms of when he was when he was playing. Pedro Porro is 83 this year. Last year he was 81. Mm. So that's a considerable oh, that's upgrade. 82 pace this year, 82 pace last year, which I think is fair. 73 shooting, which was 72. 72. I think he should be better than 73 mm. shooting. Uh, late 70s, early 80s. No, not much, no, late 70s. Passing 80. Last year was passing 77. I think his passing should be higher than 80. Oh, definitely. Uh, dribbling 81 last year was 81 how is this why would his dribbling be better than his passing yeah it makes no that, sense that's not that's not a borrow defending 78 defending 74 so his defending's gone up by mass and that just shows yeah that's fair that he's getting recognition for his improvement in his defending and 77 physical 77 physical I so think, uh, it's all pretty fair apart from his passing should be higher than his dribbling his passing 
his passing and shooting should be higher. His passing should be his best thing. Yeah. His passing should be like 83. And his shooting. His, he's got amazing shots. Shooting should be like late 70s, I would say. The, so, yeah, I think they've done... Look, it's a good upgrade, but I think it should be even better, to be honest. Vicario's gone from 82 to 84. So he's gone from diving, 83 to 84. Handling, 81 to 80. His handling's gone down. That's because he keeps uh, getting bullied from corners, I think. Kicking is the same, 79. Reflexes. Reflexes. Gone down. 85 no, gone up, to sorry. 87. Speed has gone from 35 to 51. Wow, wow. he was a slow keeper last year. Because he's always off his name and recognising him off his line a lot. And positioning has gone from 83 to 84. So it's a mm. considerable upgrade for Vicario. Yeah, brilliant. It was brilliant last year. And uh, that's a good reward for it. And Romero has gone from 82 to 84. Mm. Pace has gone... He's gone down in pace. He's 70 to 68. That doesn't make sense. How does that make sense? 70 to 68 for Romero. I don't get it. His shooting is 46 to 46. Highest goal scoring defender in the past two seasons. Come on. They've done him dirty here. 58 passing to 59 passing. Nah, come what? on, come on. His you... Passing is his best attribute. These guys don't watch him play. What, what is this? 59 passing? That's a disgrace. Dribbling is 63 to 66. Defending is 84 to 85. And physicality is 80 to 81. Surely his physicality yeah, should be higher as well. Definitely should be higher. Passing, that's, that's inexcusable how they can have his passing at 59. That's madness. <laughs> that's like one of the worst passes in the squad, they're saying. Who's, who's worse at passing than him? Who's worse at passing? I can't see anyone. Um, literally, everyone is better than him at passing. What about Dra- can't, Dragosian surely can't be higher. They've right? put Timo Werner at par- better passing than Kuti Romero. What is this rubbish? How? Everyone. Every, apart from Dra- Dragosheen's the only one who's worse. And Valise. That's it. What about Archie Gray? Gray's better. <laughs> He's in silver card. Nah. That's madness. You need to sort yourselves out, guys. Madness. That, that is terrible. 59. You just don't watch him play. That's terrible. We've got two more to rate. Is One's James Madison. 84 to 85. So He's got, got an upgrade. Yes. Um, for hmm. a pretty poor season, to be fair. From James Madison. I think first 10 games, brilliant, but never seemed to recapture that form. I'm quite surprised he has gone up one. Uh, didn't get a call up for the England squad, and quite rightly so. Mm. Um, pace, he's gone from 71 to 71. Shooting is the same, 81. Passing has gone is the same. Dribbling is the same, 86. The same, yeah. Defensive, it's all the same. 54. It's all the same. So how's he gone up one? I don't know. I don't know why he's given an <laughs> extra point. Literally every stat is the same. That's a uh, weird peculiar. one. That's a weird one. And last but not least, Son Hyung Min, 87 this year. Last year, um, I don't have him last year actually, but I think he did stay the same, I believe. Yeah. Um, I think yeah, I'm looking at... Oh, Pace, 87. 87 yeah. Shooting, 89. Shooting, shooting should be yeah, more. It could be 90, I think. Yeah. Passing, 81. Dribbling, 85. Mm. Defensive, 42. And physicality, 73. Yeah. I think that's all pretty fair. Yeah, apart all. from shooting, I think. Yeah, shooting, right. shoot, he's, shoot, he's one of the best uh, shooters in the world, so yeah. I think 90 at least. So I think, I think, you know, it's a lot of them are fair ratings, but they have done a few players dirty here. Mm-hmm. I really believe that. I think uh, a couple of the stats on Romero, a couple of the stats on Porro, Van de Ven, and Dragushin, who I think they've done the most dirty out of everyone in the squad. So, um, and you have the massive improvement in our back four. You can see that. I think yeah. last season at Van de Ven, 70s. Poro 81, a doggy 70, uh, 77, Romero was 82, Vicario 82, and they've all improved massively the back, yeah. on the back line, considering all the goals we conceded. Very true. Hmm. So, yeah, there you have it. That is us reacting to the FC25 ratings. Let me know how bad or how good they, you think they are in the comment section below. But thank you, everyone, for joining us today. Like, subscribe, and comment. And as always, come on, Spurs. Spurs.